Hey guys, good morning. The fact that I'm vlogging the day before I'm gonna go traveling is crazy to me. Do I really think I'm gonna edit this? I don't know. Tomorrow morning, I'll have to be at the airport at 8 a.m. I'm going to Phoenix because David's graduating. Woo! So he's gonna do the walk and everything. And then a couple weeks after that, I'm going to New York City for the first time, which should be fun. I hear great things. People say that I'm gonna really like it because I like city, and I think so too. Definitely gonna vlog that. Oh, pigeons. There are these pigeons that hang out outside, and they're just looking for a balcony to lay their eggs on, and they never come to mine, really. They usually come to David's but then he scares them away, so yeah. You know how they say on your spiritual journey that like people are gonna fall out of your life? They usually say it happens with friends, so you just kind of split off, you start to value different things. And I'm not sure if this is because of my spiritual journey or anything, but I'm starting to realize that a lot of people on the internet are mad and bitter. And I mean, I'm, <laughs> I mean, I'm mainly talking about on my Twitter. I guess the anger or the bitterness has always been there. I'm thinking of something specific right now. There's this throuple on TikTok that's gone viral. People are angry that they're in a throuple and that they're happy. And it's just the internet. But I did see that some of the people that I follow were like going in on them too. It's basically group bullying because it makes them feel better or whatever. And I just realized even though it's easy to scroll past these things and that's what I usually do whenever I see anything that I don't like i'm like why am i following them you know like there's nothing wrong with these people they're just not aligning to where i'm at right now vibrationally and it just does make me feel like kind of like ugh when i do see posts like that so i guess that makes it okay for me to you know unfollow them bridge away from people like that i don't know if i'm saying this and sounding like a jerk i mean i shouldn't it shouldn't matter you are your closest friends that's what they say and if the people that you hang around with are a reflection of you and even you know people that you follow are a reflection of you starting to realize that that's just like not a reflection of who i am i don't find it funny I don't find it, I don't even find it amusing like, like in any way. It's just bitter, angry people all the time on a lot of platforms. Definitely a mental conundrum because everything I do is online. And online you find people that are like, that think just like you or people who are learning to like things that you like, but you also find your opposite. And I welcome people who don't like my content. It's okay. People are gonna hate watch it. And it's just something people do. It's, it's just part of internet culture. On the internet, bitterness and anger exist. And I'm finding myself not really aligning with it anymore and being more okay with, you know, pushing past it by way of like unfollowing people that I was normally following that I maybe talked to before, had some sort of like internet connection. Let's make some breakfast because I'm hungry. I've been trying to eat all the food that I have because I'm going to be traveling in May just so nothing goes bad. I have chicken that I need to eat. I have one piece of chicken in there. <laughs> chicken, meatball. Chicken and bowl, meat microwave. I also added some black beans in there. Chicken's been sitting there a little while. <laughs> it's a little dry. I started to notice that I didn't align with the like mean girl internet culture years ago and this started with um, the drama channels on YouTube. Just noticed that a lot of people were just watching drama and just like tabloid like channels which I find to be the lowest of the low type of content on the internet. And I, if I sat there and, and listened to stuff like this, I could be entertained. While I was being entertained, I also felt this like angerness and bitterness swelling up inside me. I didn't like that and I noticed it right away and I was like, do I really want to continue to watching these things? that at the end of the day don't really make me feel better. They make me feel maybe more empowered if that's the better word because I would feel a lot of people think this way. A lot of people are, we're all bullying this one person who deserves it and therefore I feel more powerful. Like it, it, it's kind of like that, but it did not feel good. Empowered, but not in a good way. And then slowly I started to see more and more of it on Twitter and because I'm, I guess on gay Twitter, I follow a lot of gay people, a lot of gay people follow me. There's tends to be this like vicious mean girl type-esque clicky uh, just a world on twitter that at first i feel like maybe i might have been a part of it but i just feel like recent years i've just been taking a seat back it seems like there's a threshold when people like you and when they don't like you when you're coming up people like support you they're on your side but then there comes a threshold it hasn't happened to me personally but i'm just telling you how like i've seen it you just like, cross that threshold where you're getting more attention that people feel you deserve like if someone posts a picture and they're a good looking person and they just they get a lot of likes and a lot of retweets that person 
person will start getting hate from like a specific group of people who feel like they should not be getting all those likes and all that stuff. It just snowballs into something where like the person who just tweeted out a picture of themselves and happened to get a lot of likes, now they're getting a lot of hate from people who feel bitter and angry that they're getting all that recognition or attention because that's what everyone wants on the internet, including myself, everyone wants attention. And there is nothing wrong with wanting attention on the internet. Like I'm first to say, you want that attention, honey, you go post that picture and I'll be the first to like it. There's nothing wrong with that. What I find unsavory is doing the mean girl thing for the attention. If you're tearing someone down for you to get that attention that you want, then yeah, I find that kind of like, ugh. And I don't really vibe with that. No, for me, it's so obvious. Like you can only really tear someone down if you feel inferior in some way. People who feel good, people who have a good life don't really sit there and do these kinds of things. I don't know, it's just like, what can you even do, right? It's just internet culture and I'm part of it. Like I'm, my entire existence is the internet, which I love. Crazy. going for four days. Do I really need both of these? Not too sure, but I guess better safe than sorry, right? Ugh, I need to pick out my clothes. Luckily for me, I already got all the traveling goodies. I don't gotta go to the store anymore. I don't think I need two Advil. Got some Crest 3D whitening toothpaste, some moisturizing lotion, and some cleanser. Also got this body wash. I don't know what the Airbnb is gonna have and you know, just nice to have a body wash just in case. And then I got these empty containers that I'm gonna put my hair products in. <laughs> Okay, I think I picked out what I'm gonna wear. Look how neatly I folded everything. Go Ricky. Okay, it's almost noon and I need to put on a shirt. I probably lint rolled this. I kind of understand where all the haters come from because I feel like I used to be like that. I used to be kind of a bitter, angry person and it was a lot of not being happy with the way I was doing things or the opportunities that I was being presented. A lot of that was like jealousy too. And I didn't really know it then. I just knew that I liked hating people or being angry. And I feel like there's a portion of internet culture that like relishes in that they're like oh yes i'm a big hater big hater energy and they're proud of that and that's just you know where they are in life that's that's fine everyone's on a different journey so i understand where that need for drama and tea and canceling people and all that stuff i understand where it comes from almost like a fundamental human need to feel some sort of empowered if you're not really feeling it you need to feel that community of sorts you know even if it's a bunch of angry hater people who <laughs> who's your community but like that's just part of the human experience I think. And see, I'm stuck between both because while I understand where they're coming from, I also like, I don't really tolerate it anymore. Not that it needs to be eradicated, but I just do not want it in my vicinity. It's not something I, what's that word? The palette? I didn't plan any outfits. <laughs> I just grabbed a bunch of clothes that I thought I would wear. That's what I did last time and it worked out. So it'll, I'll be fine. Back when I used to be a hater, I didn't realize that I was the problem. I always thought that the problem was on the outside. Like I always, always found faults in other things, other people, and especially if people were having fun, doing something that I didn't like, I almost felt that like an attack on myself. And that just fueled me with unnecessary like anger and bitterness. And I know, like I can tell that that is what these other people are feeling now. I mean, while I can sit there and like maybe like send them a message and be like, hey, look inward. They'll probably be like, fuck you, you know? <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. Everybody's just like on their own personal journey and everyone needs to discover that the issues are really inward. It's crazy to see how much growth I've had. If anything, seeing all this is just a reminder of how far I've come and I'm pretty damn proud of myself. I'm mostly always in a positive mindset and even if there are people who I don't necessarily agree with like this, I can still look at them from a viewpoint of understanding and knowing that it's gonna be okay, like they're on their personal journey. I don't have to like it, but I also don't have to change them. You know, it's just who they are. It's not up to me, you know? It's also like a headache. <laughs> I think we all, at least in the US, we all learned in the 2016 election how much of a headache it is trying to change people. At least that's what I learned. I know now that I do not for one second try to change someone's mind that is not in a place to hear it. That's why I like doing these vlogs is because it's just my inner thoughts and I just say them out loud and I just put them out on the internet. I would not go up to someone who thinks differently than me and who's really adamant about their beliefs. I would not go up to them and tell them, hey, maybe you should look 
look at it this way because I know that they're not in a place to hear me. And who am I to really try to change someone else's perspective? Who am I to tell the person who's bitter and angry that they should not pile on the bullying on someone else if maybe that's the only moment in their life where they feel some sort of power within? And I remember how shitty it felt like to really feel like my powerlessness. So I guess for a second they feel kind of better. It's it's a good thing. I don't know. Like I do not like it, but I understand it. It's just the way it is. Well, look at how much space I have in here. So I definitely don't think I'm gonna need this one as well. I'll probably just take a backpack or something. This is also like a learning experience for me because there's still a part of me that is bothered by the way people, other people act, you know, on the internet and stuff when I see it. And that leads me to like unfollow or do whatever, block, mute, whatever I need to do to, you know, get that out of like my experience. The question is, should I be in a place where even when I see this, it gives me no reaction? Or no? I know, I'm, I'm still human. Like everyone has a reaction. Like the, the reaction, yeah, no, 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 I'm right. Cause there's no way that I can just see something and not really like have a feeling towards it. Like I can have a feeling towards it, but it's also about accepting it and allowing it to be what it is. Just let it flow, allow it to flow. That's what it is. But maybe I can find a way to let it bother me a little less. Honestly, what bothers me is that I see myself and these people who are hating or bitter and stuff because I used to be that. That probably is that little soreness that I feel within me. Every judgment you make is a reflection upon yourself. And this sort of judgment that I'm making on others who are judging other people is a reflection of myself too. So point the finger at me too. <laughs> I'm not innocent in all this. That's just life, man. That's crazy. I swear by these lint rollers from Target. The ones with the green handle, not the ones with the black or the red, I think it is. Green handle lint rollers. I swear by these. I've been using SGX NYC for my curls. This is a godsend. I feel like this is what I've been looking for. I also got the heat protector. I don't know why I'm not doing this over the sink. I guess I just want you guys to watch. Live and let live is such a cliche. There are people who are gonna be like you, there are people who are not gonna be like you, and you gotta let them live. Like, that's the only way to live and find true peace within yourself, which is essentially, I think, what we all really want. Because when we're not at peace or we're not at ease is when we tend to act up and get a little bit more aggressive. <laughs> are y'all the type of people who plan your airport outfits? I mean, there's not much of a fit. I'm just wearing shorts in this. But I figured that I'm gonna cut this shirt because it's a little long. I kinda just wanna do like a little bit of a crop, not like an actual crop top. I know people like to measure, but I'm not gonna do any of that. Mm -mm. Wow, I'm already cutting it very crooked. That seems pretty good, right? We're gonna find out right now. After I really started following the live and let live mantra, I've been so much at peace. Ooh. I don't ever feel the need to try to change someone, to try to like talk someone into like the way I do things or the way I think. Like I don't think we were meant to be here and try to make everyone like us because where's the diversity in that? Tons of different ice cream flavors and everybody's gonna have their favorite. Well, I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell, but like if I <gasps> inhale, you see the bottom. Oh, not that bad though. There we go. Yeah, I think this is it. That's the fit. I'm not sure exactly what the point of this video was other than to like maybe just vent a little bit maybe get my mind centered also i kind of just wanted some company while i packed if you did watch it all the way i'm interested to know what your perspective on the internet is do you see a lot of this or is this just like my experience and maybe the people i'm surrounded by i know it's up to us as individuals to cultivate our surroundings and our environment and so i think i'm just getting a little bit better at that but i'm very interested to know if you've seen a lot of the like the hate and bitterness that i see and how do you feel about it do you also contribute to that or do you try to like stay away from it other than that thank you for joining me on the packing and thank you for joining me on my random ramble i hope y'all have a good day don't forget to leave a like and i will see you guys later bye mm -hmm.